Hi guys, this is Emily Copelli and for today's card I'll be using the long fun stamp set called Fairy Friends and the Abriel stamp set called So Happy. Then I will take the glasses from the Be A Wishes stamp set from the Sweet Stamp Shop to add some personality to my little fairy. I think I ended up looking super cute. Now I will use my Distress inks to color my little fairy as well as some other images I stamped and already fussy cut. Remember that I always add my list of supplies to my blog as well as some links to where to find it. Here yeah, I already cut a panel of cardstock that fits the front of my A2 card base and I cut it in three strips of paper. The middle one I die cut it using a heel border as well as a cloud border. That middle part in that middle strip of cardstock will be discarded. Now I will color the cloud using my tumbled glass distress ink and a round blending tool. I am adding more color to the bottom edge of it and less color to the upper area. For the heel, I'll use my cracked pistachio distress ink, adding more color to the upper edge and less to the bottom of the heel. This will add some dimension to it. Here I already cut a panel out of acetate and will stick my panels of cardstock to it using some dry adhesives from Scotch. You can use your favorite adhesive for this. I start in sticking the panel to the right, aligning the edges of the cardstock and the acetate, and then stick to it the cloud and the heel using the same adhesive. Finally, I stick to it the strip to the right side of the acetate. For the front of my card base, I am adding some tattered rose distress ink and abandoned coral distress ink, adding the darkest color to the bottom area. I am adding the color only to the area that I know that is going to be visible through the shaker area. Then I added some splatters of water. Here I stamped some raindrops using my archival ink in tea rose. These raindrops are from my Hello Sunshine stamp set from Lomfon. Then I filled in some empty spaces using my ink pad from Lomfon in white rose as well as a little solid heart. Here I'm gluing a thin strip of gold glittered cardstock using my multimedia mat from Ranger. I am gluing one of them to each side of my shaker area to give it a nice finishing touch. Now I'll stamp my phrase from the Ariel stamp set using a pure color ink pad from W plus 9 and I'm stamping it right against the shaker area. Here I already sticked some foamy using some dry adhesive to give some space for my droplets to shake into the shaker. Also I'm adding three shades of droplets, some clear, some light pink and some dark pink. Once I have everything ready I'll go ahead and stick to it my front panel from my card. Now I'll use my glaze pen from Sakura in clear to add some glossiness and dimension to the glasses of the little fairy. It looks a little milky at first, but then it dries completely clear and glossy. And I'll use the Stardust gel pen from Sakura in clear to add some dotted glittery details to the wings of the fairy. I love doing this with the wing of my fairies, but you can also simply use your wing of Stella if you prefer to add some nice shimmer to the whole wings. As you can notice, I also added some gold stickles to the center of the flower. And here you can see all the glitter and the glossiness in the glasses of the fairy. And this is my card all finished. Here you can see all the movement these droplets add to my card 
as well as the vertical seam I created which I really love. I really hope you enjoyed this video tutorial, please give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe to my channel if you are not subscribed yet. Don't forget to visit my blog to see the list of supplies and more close-up pictures. Here are three more cards that you might enjoy where I used long fun supplies. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!